Hey, how's it going guys? I was about to go catch a lift, uh, just got done coding, uh, was spending some time again, been debugging a lot and things like that uh, before I started working on a new feature. And I was, as I was wrapping up my coding session and I was like about to get ready to go work out, uh, I just wanted to pick up the camera and talk to you guys about this concept that I picked up from this book, uh, Daily Loss by Robert Greene. Uh, he's one of my most favorite authors, I would say. Uh, I found him after, like, you know, from that book called Mastery. It's one of the books that I have, like, probably read uh, over five, six times at least, you know. And uh, this is a version of the book. Not a version of the book. This is another book by him, which is like Daily Laws. It's kind of like uh, The Daily Stoic, which is another really popular book. Uh, just about, like, regular philosophy from... Uh, People like Epictetus and, uh, you know, Marcus Aurelius and things like that. It just helps you operate better in your life from a better frame of mind. And just having that better perspective about things just gives you a lot more control over your own, uh, you know, like behavior, thought patterns and how to take more effective action in your life, you know? So today I want to discuss with you guys this concept of like moving towards resistance. And this is not the first time I've heard this concept. The first time I actually came across it was from the book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, where he talked about all of these creative pursuits that people are in, you know, be it writing, be it design, be it software engineering, be it architecture and things like that, where you have to be really creative with your work and sometimes that kind of work doesn't really come easy, you know, or even being a doctor and things like that. These are some really hard uh, career paths and pursuits and passions to follow, you know, and uh, usually just as you know, human beings are, we tr tend to shy away from hard work. We tend to shy away from failures. We tend to shy away from facing our own weaknesses, you know, and I was doing the same thing. I was away uh, from Toronto in India for my wedding and things like that. And for about two months, I didn't really get to deliberately practice my own craft, which is like coding and working on my future business ideas and things like that. Sure, there were a lot of distractions while I was like trying to make something really important happen in my life, which was my like wedding, you know? And uh, it was really important, but that does not take away from the fact that I was kind of slacking from other areas of my life other aspects of my life and I just built up a huge amount of resistance towards my work which is uh, being a software engineer working with the Silicon Valley company safety wing and uh, kind of just like neglecting my responsibilities for the longest time because again sitting in front of a computer solving challenging problems was not something that would come easy to me and it used to be the same when it came to fitness a few years ago, almost a decade ago, when I used to be fat and not as fit as I am now. And it took a great deal of like perseverance and effort from my side to kind of exercise regularly, lose the fat, lose the weight, become more athletic. And uh, this idea of move towards resistance is basically just that, that no matter how hard things are, it is our responsibility to deliberately move towards that resistance, even though we might not feel like it, you know? So these days it's been like for me that I might not feel like coding or debugging or solving complex problems that we might be facing at, at Safety Wing, at, at my company, at the company that I work with, you know, remotely from Toronto. And uh, there's a few things that you need to like keep in mind that you have to, first of all, fight your feelings of like not having to work and things like that get over that feeling and discipline yourself discipline your behavior that no matter what happens no matter how lazy you feel no matter how like uh, you know like resistant you feel to these things you still want to sit down get your work done if you're still feeling resistant of going to the gym and working on your health and fitness you still want to go do that no matter what because showing up is the most important part of it and taking that first step is the most important part of it and once you do that it kind of becomes easier to take the next step and then the next step you know so there's a few exercises you can always do to like you know become more deliberate towards these practices for you it could be you know again working out training if you're trying to like be more healthy or just working on your job and just spending an hour extra you know or even like just spending an hour in general first time like first thing in the morning just to get a head start on the things that you want to accomplish that day. So for me personally, this is what I've been doing that now 
the moment I wake up, I've been trying to wake up really early, you know, like five, six, seven in the morning. Today I woke up at seven, which is still late than I what like compared to what time I want to wake up actually. So I've been like waking up at five, like these uh, ridiculous hours in the morning, five or something like that. And the first thing I do after freshening up, taking a shower is that I just sit down and start coding, start thinking about the problems that I need to solve and that I was feeling resistant towards. But since it is my responsibility and also like my desire to become a better engineer in general and you know, be able to understand these technologies so that I can then later on as I'm providing value at the company that I'm working with right now, but also be able to like understand these technologies and implement them in my future business ideas and things like that. And to make that happen, I actually have to work on my weaknesses. I actually have to work with these problems, solve them and, uh, you know, like tolerate that mental discomfort, that pain and still make things happen, still make progress happen. And that can only happen by me spending time on these things, just sitting down, distraction free, putting my phone away and and uh, just like things like that and just like completely focusing on the task at hand and doing whatever is in my hand, whatever is in my control to move the ball forward, you know, and to keep the ball rolling basically. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys that no matter what happens, no matter how resistant you feel towards your responsibilities, your obligations, whatever that might be, or, or some new career path that you might be trying to follow or some new skill that you might be trying to polish or practice or whatever the case might be in your life, you just just have to move towards that resistance you know there will always be this feeling that wants to keep you away from doing hard things but what I will suggest and what I will like really uh, encourage you guys to do is do not always listen to your feelings guys like it's more important to build discipline in your life and take action no matter how you feel in the moment you know and that's what I've been doing personally waking up every morning just gives me that perspective refreshes that perspective in my mind and my, like you know that I have to work towards this resistance and code and uh, solve problems you know and work on the software no matter what happens that's my biggest priority right now to get better again to get back in that zone where I can be more prolific at writing code pr like pushing more code out and providing more value because again I'm getting paid like heavily and I want to be able to like uh, produce as much value you know for that compensation so it is my responsibility same with my business and things like that I owe it to myself to fight that resistance and work towards things that I care about that are going to give me like long term happiness and uh, get over these distractions that just provide you know short term gains or short term pleasures. So fight these little resistances in your life move toward them and do the things that are really important in your life. All right. So that's what I wanted like wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm going to go catch a lift and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Queen Anne is looking good. Now I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting. Now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer. Now I want the bench. Spending all the back like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you can get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like 80 ways. Kids, if you won't take a lazy day, wife, you want me to me take a break. I keep going to the paper street. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before. I'm
got back from outside uh, from our walk. Been pretty lazy the past, uh, ever since we have come back to Toronto, I feel like. <laughs> We've just not been good with our steps this year. And I was pretty adamant the last year, I got 10K steps almost every single day. Uh, it's been super cold here. Uh, and also just been snowy and just slushy and kind of gross outside so we've not been walking as much as we would like to but today, today was Sunday and the weather was really nice the sky opened up it was pretty sunny the whole day and we kind of just like went out for a really nice walk and uh, just you know just get a few steps in uh, just absorb a little bit of like the atmosphere in Toronto uh, we've not been around as much so just wanted to like uh, just go visit a few places that we had kind of been missing out on so that was fun I also just wanted to ask you, since we, since in this video we're talking about the topic move, moving towards resistance, I kind of wanted to like get her thoughts as well. So let's listen to her a little bit about it, and then we will wrap up the video after that. Maybe I'll do some cooking for the uh, for the dinner tonight. But anyway, what do you think? I feel like yeah. Number one, you know that something that you are avoiding is something that you really need to do so just think about it this way oh how much pain would you be avoiding if you just took the pain to do the thing that you're right currently avoiding because at the end of the day as like humans we really avoid pain and if we if we can avoid the pain by doing something that we currently don't want to eventually we will get to a point say like with working out you're gonna feel you know the resistance when you first start because you're one not good at it two you feel like everyone's watching you which let me tell you no one's watching you everyone's watching themselves three you might feel like you're just not good enough but once you keep doing and pushing you will get to a point where you will thank yourself that you came all this way and just by pushing through the initial phase of resistance you will have avoided or you will avoid so much more pain compared to the pain that you're going to face when you realize six months from today that you had the chance to start and you had all of this time to work on your fitness goals work on your financial goals or whatever goals that you are currently avoiding working on like you will have come such a long way compared to today so yeah well said well said so just that guys like uh, avoid the short-term like pain and try to not get distracted from the short-term pleasure instead move towards resistance work on your goals no matter how hard and challenging they might be because at the end of the day you are the one who has chosen to work on them and if you're not gonna get yourself to actively take action again on those things it will cause immense pain down the line thinking that you did not take your shot did not take your chance and you all you will be left with will be regret so might as well give it a try give it a shot work on things consistently just bit by bit and see where that takes you and i'm i'm gonna say that to you right now like after trying a ton of things in different like areas of my life fitness career relationship us being together just taking those tiny steps over time will compound into something you know something like uh, tangible for you to look at and actually get a feel that how far you have come and you won't regret that i can promise you that uh, but anyway i just wanted to get her thoughts as well i hope you guys like this message resonates with you and uh yeah i would be sharing more of these things with you guys and i'll kind of like pull her on the camera as well because she's going through a lot of challenges with me in our personal life we are trying to grow together uh as you guys might have like you know like uh come across like our videos together in the past about regarding our life updates career updates so we'll be actively talking to you guys as well about those challenges and how we are coming like over them as a couple together working on things as a team basically and i just want to share more experiences with you guys because you might be somewhere in your phase of life where you might be needing some support some motivation or whatever so i kind of want to talk about my experience just in the hopes that it could help someone out there with their dreams and passions and goals as well to take that step to take that action just to move uh, a little bit further from where they were in the past right so i'll talk to you guys in the next video and might end it on uh, yeah we'll be cooking some dinner having a good chill time it's sunday tonight didn't really do much but uh, definitely about to start the week strong and uh, we'll be sharing and talking more to you guys in the future vlogs and things so all right take care have a good one bye